Hi everyone, welcome back, it's Michelle. I'm so happy with my brain because it decided it wanted to be creative. So I thought this would be fun for Valentine's because it's kind of like a wallet. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, then you're gonna see the post um, that I had made. So there's several ways you can like do the flap, but I kind of liked it like this as decoration, but you could always just do this so it's like a real like wallet. Oh, sorry, I'm out of breath. I just came from upstairs so or downstairs. So um, you open it and it has like two little pockets just like you would in a wallet. And then here I just made an extra little pocket for the vellum. I thought it was like a nice little touch. I did leave this one, um, but you can add two of these if you want. And again, if you don't have vellum, no problem. Use regular paper or whatever you have, glitter, I mean, just anything. So it came out really sweet. So I wanna show you, so, okay, so I have these two flaps. If you want, you can like cut that off. So when you fold it, it's like, I don't know, just a little easier when you close it, but it's actually not, not bad. And you can also put like a little, you know, prong on there and close it if you want. So whoever opens it can kind of like, you know, have something to open and then this, so it's, you know, whatever way you want to do it, but I just thought it was really just fun and something different. Um, I've seen like wallet dies and things, so I don't know. I just wanted to try my own. So grab your scoreboard. Oh, I'm literally out of breath. I go like up and down my stairs all day because um, my son does uh, his work downstairs and I'm upstairs. So I'm like constantly going back and forth. All right, so let's grab a sheet of paper. And okay, so I did use double-sided in this. So I wanna show you, if you're using single-sided paper, it will kind of look like that, okay? It will not kinda, it will look like this. So I wanna show you the difference because it makes a big difference when you're using the double-sided paper, I feel like. But it's still beautiful either way and you can always cover it up and do whatever you want. But I did want to show you that because I'm gonna be using the double-sided paper right now just because um, I wanted to use it. So this is going to be an eight by 12 paper. Okay. And at, put it at the 12 inch score and these are going to be our score marks. So we're going to score it at, uh, three quarters of an inch, six inch and 11 and a quarter. So three fourths of an inch. And then six, which is gonna give us that center line, and then 11 and a quarter. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and flip it this way so that it's at the eight inch mark. And, okay, hold on, let me look at this because I'm trying to see which way my paper is going. So this side's gonna be our top. So the top is gonna to be one and a quarter inch, and then the five inch mark. So again, this side is gonna be your top. So one, and you can change this uh, to measure whatever you want, but this is just how I did it. And then the five inch. So if you want like things to show more, you can change this and make it lower. Okay, and that is all of our scores that we're gonna do. Now we're just gonna kind of snip away and let me get this out of the way for now. Okay, sometimes I wish I didn't use such pattern paper because it's harder to see. So what we're gonna do is, okay, this is gonna be, let me do the top. So the top is gonna be the shorter end. So just cut these out right here, this little tiny box on the top. We're gonna do both sides. So it's gonna look like that. And then cut out the other side. I'm always afraid I'm gonna hack right into it when I'm filming, so I'd rather just pull it off. Okay, so that's gonna be the top. And then make your little slit here. And I'm gonna show you how to shape that at the end but just go ahead and get that out of the way. Okay, so that's gonna be, it's gonna look like this. Now we're gonna do the bottom. So the bottom 
So that's the top. Now we're cutting out this piece right here. So we're just gonna have that middle section left. I actually have another fun idea for a wallet too. It was something I saw on Pinterest I wanna try. I just haven't gotten to it yet. So, but this one I just kind of uh, made on a whim. Okay, so let me see here. Just cut the other side, so we're just left with the middle. Okay, so it's gonna look like that when you're done. Okay, and then, so we did that top piece, we cut that out, now we're gonna go ahead and, let me grab my bigger scissors. So we're gonna cut out the center now. When we're First we're gonna just cut the line and then we're gonna kinda cut it like a bit of a triangle because we don't want it rubbing against each other. So after, oh, I don't, I did not cut this all the way. So after you cut that line, just kind of, um, you can either fold it and do it, which I feel like is easier, because then you can see. So if you fold your paper in half, and then it will be even, and you just kind of slice it just a little bit extra. So when you open it, it's kind of like a, like a, triangle so I'm going to cut it just a little bit more because I want to make sure it's not like interfering when I when I close it so it's gonna look like that and if you have to trim it more no big deal okay so now let me just fold this up and I'm gonna fold this up so that's gonna be our bottom piece. And I did round these off, so, cause you see how it looks kind of like a folder if you do that, so I want it to look more like a wallet. So I'm gonna corner chomp pretty much everything. So let me just do my little scores right here. Want it to really go down and I'm also going to just corner chomp these two so you can put this on top or bottom I liked this sealed on the bottom so I gotta flip that around so what I mean by that is when you seal it you can like if you want it to have a little bit of like a wall you can do that on the outside or just on the inside like this. So I just kind of did it on the inside. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and glue this down. And I'm gonna glue this side down. Oop, I should've put that on there. Okay, make sure it stays on there. And let me just close this. So, okay, so the top here, what I had done is I just close this, you know, close your envelope, and you can round it, but I wanted to make it kind of like a triangle. So I just went like this and then turned it, because you want to close it at the same time so it's even, and then just kind of do this side. And that's going to give you that little top lid right there, just like that. So again, I did make this like kind of high, I feel like, but so you can lower it if you want it to show more of your stuff, but I kind of just liked it like this. So let me just fold that. So there is your wallet. And now we're just going to do the little vellum pocket. Grabbing my scoreboard again, real quick. Oh gosh, my desk is a struggle every day. Okay, so the vellum is going to be, and again, if you don't have vellum, just use a regular sheet of paper, five and a half by two and a half. And again, you can always adjust your height, whatever you want. And we're just scoring it three times around here at a quarter inch. So quarter inch, quarter inch, and a quarter inch. 
Okay, so one, two, and three. And we're gonna place this cutie on. I just feel like it added a little bit of a nice touch to it. And another alternative is when I did that mini album the other day, um, and I did like these slits, you can do that too. So it really looks like a credit card, you know, when it goes in. So let me just fold this down. Okay, so it should just look like that. And then we're gonna pop it on. And I did make it a little bit shorter just because I didn't want it to close weird or hang out of the wallet. And I'm just gonna place it right on there. Okay, so there's that pocket right there. So I did use, as you can see, I used some of my cocoa and Reno dyes for this month. So, of course I cut it out and lost it. Sorry, I'm just scrambling on my desk here trying to find my dye. I found one of them, one of my lost, so. I guess I'll just put this one on here. And I thank you for all the little tips on this background um, using like sticker machines and adhesives. You know, when I do my dyes, I literally just cut them out on a whim and I don't ever know what I'm doing with it. So when I do it, I don't even think that far ahead. I just kind of cut it out and stick it. And I, I usually just want to see if it's going to work with what I'm doing. So that's probably why I never do the adhesives, but I really should because this glue is out of control, especially on the vellum. It's not ideal. All right, and let me just find a little flower to put on there, or a butterfly, just something. Adding the foam tape on there just to make it jump a little bit. I don't know if this is a butterfly or a moth. I love butterflies, but I don't know. I don't really love moths. <laughs> okay, so let's see. I don't really like that there. I'm going to take that off. I'm just kind of playing with it. This one I feel like I went flat. So again, like if you were gonna put this on here, you could do this side and just like stick something on. I thought it looked a little weird, but I don't know. Maybe a different color paper or something would make it look better. So I'm just gonna pull, just let me slide this in so you can see there's something in there. But I mean, super simple. And then I just added a eyelet right in here. And again, you don't have to do that. But just for fun, I will. Right in the middle. And I just took my 5 8 punch. And I need to find a sheet of paper. I'm just going to take a scrap paper here. I'm going to add this in here. Just a little hole. And a tiny little prong. I think I'm just gonna use a white one. Oh, this thing is always upside down on me. Okay, so let's see if I have one more sticky thing. I'm gonna put this here. I'm just trying to find a flower for the other side. I'm kind of running low. Just something so it's not so plain. Just leave it like that for now. I'm gonna grab some of these things so you can see inside.
see what's inside the pocket. Um, let me just add this in here. And voila, that's inside. So I'm just gonna go ahead and like I said, you can add a little clasp here if you want. You can cut this lid off so it's just kind of like that. Um, you can close this both at the same time, but I'm just gonna go ahead and close it like I had it. Close it this way and then just pop it on top. So um, just add whatever you want in the front. Ooh, I feel like this is gonna be pretty over here. Oh, I've got stickers. I forget I had these. Let's see what we got here. Mm, I kind of like the be happy one. And then I could use some 3D in there. But anyway, this is the little um, wallet. I hope you guys like this. This is kind of cute, right? Uh, just something different, a different way to send snail mail and uh, make a cute little wallet. And you can use this for anything, but you can put gift cards in here, whatever you want. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will try to think of some more fun things. All right, guys, thank you.